Hello parents, soon to be parents and all guardians. Welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. In our today's video, I'm going to share about how can parents stop dangerous tendency of childhood obesity. For the past few decades, childhood obesity has been cause for concern. But with the effects of the pandemic and national lockdowns seemingly adding to the issue, it is now an undeniable public health crisis. Lockdown measures including school closures, restriction on leaving the house, and limitation on meeting with people have led to children and adolescents leading more sedentary lifestyle than they did before the outbreak of COVID-19. In addition, a study reported an increase in recreational screen time of almost 4 hours a day in children aged 12 to 13 years old during a COVID-19 pandemic. Childhood obesity, which was once shocking and disturbing, has now become a fact of life. Child obesity is growing and rapidly increasing. With bad eating habits and fatty diet and some hereditary influence, some kids are doomed to battle childhood obesity late into their 20s. Childhood obesity has become a widespread phenomenon and the risks involving childhood obesity are becoming clearer with time. The numbers present a sad reality, 1 in 5 children is considered overweight and this tendency only increases with time. Childhood obesity is increasing in different ethnic groups in both genders and all across the world. North America and Western Europe are leading the charts in regarding to child obesity, but other regions of the world are not too far behind. Some experts claim that if something is not done to stop childhood obesity, immediately we will witness a whole generation becoming twice as heavy as it is parents and grandparents were. With this gain rate, other health risks are becoming more and more evident and have a huge effect on larger groups. It is clear that we have an epidemic of obesity in our country and that as we get used to seeing more overweight people at work, in the school, and on the streets, we are accepting this condition as reality rather than working to change the situation. For this increase in childhood obesity, we can blame our way of life. First, the car has replaced a lot of walking which was very important for our hearts and muscles mass. Most of us spend most of our free time in front of the television or the computer and most of the time we are in front of these appliances, we also indulge in eating fatty food such as pizza and ice cream. Junk food has become an acceptable meal. What was once considered a last option for children's meal has become the default in choosing our kids' meal. Let's consider the dangers of obesity and bear in mind that we usually think of all adults when we talk about this risk, which makes this even worse, too little exercise. And too much of the wrong kind of food is associated with type 2 diabetes, all sorts of heart disease and blood pressure problems, joint problems related to weight bearing, self-esteem and confidence issues, high cholesterol, mental problems such as depression and sleep disruption, unstable mental stamina, pulmonary problems. The research in this field points to one clear fact. If you are obese as a child, you start a far higher chance to be an obese adult. So, childhood obesity is not some childhood problematic phase that goes away after some time. Childhood obesity can lead to very problematic adulthood. So, what can be done to prevent childhood obesity and how can we stop this dangerous tendency? The first thing we could do right away is to stop using our cars so much and walk a little more. Any kind of physical exercise is good for your young children. We are not talking about gym and push-ups, even an enjoyable basketball game 45 minutes 3 times a week can do wonders. And the great thing about kids is that they enjoy playing, they sometimes just need a little encouragement to get them going. 
This alone can start you off in your battle against childhood obesity. Take childhood obesity seriously. It is not something that will go away. Exercise and healthy eating are vital for a young body to develop well and to enjoy longevity and healthy life. Limit calories. 4 to 6 years old can eat these serving sizes. Over 2 to 3 years old less except for milk. 2 to 6 years old children need a total of 2 serving from the milk group each day. Discourage eating meals or snacks while watching TV. Eating in front of the TV make it difficult to pay attention to feelings of fullness and may lead to overeating. By fewer high calorie, low nutrient food, help children understand that sweets and high fat treats such as candy, cookies or cake are not everyday foods. Don't deprive children of occasional treats however. This can make them more likely to overeat. Avoid labeling foods as good or bad. All foods in moderation can be a part of healthy diet. And involve children in planning, shopping, and preparing meals. Use these activities to understand children's food preferences. Teach children about nutrition and encourage them to try a wide variety of foods. Make the most of snacks. Continuous snacking may lead to overeating. Plan healthy snack at a specific time, including two groups, for example, apple wedges and whole green crackers. Focus on maximum nutrition. Fruits, vegetables, grains, low sugar cereals, low fat dairy products, and lean meats and meat alternatives. Avoid excessive amounts of fruit juices, which contain calories but fewer nutrients than the fruits they come from. A reasonable amount of juice is 4 to 8 ounces per day. Encourage physical activity. Participate in family physical activity time on a regular basis, such as walk, bike, rides, hikes, and active games. Support your children organize physical activities. Provide a safe, accessible place outside for play. Limit the number of times children watch television, play video games, and work on the computer to 1-2 to two hours per day. The average child spends about 24 hours each week watching television, reducing sedentary activities, help increase physical activity. The goal would be to slowly make healthy changes rather than adopt an extreme diet that won't last. Parents can also set an example by improving their own eating habits. If a parent does something, then it is important. If a parent does not do something, then it means it is less important. When parents lead the way and create supportive environment for a child, then they are all far more likely to be successful. That's all for today guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and have a nice day all.